Hello and welcome back to more Football Manager 2019 with me, Mr. Grantu, and episode 42 of Monaco. And today we have got the first leg of our Champions League knockout round match against Roma. And we're not the only French side in the knockout stages. And it's not just us and PSG either. Lyon have made it through to the knockout round. And Saint-Étienne, in the first time they've been in the Champions League in this save, have also made it through. Pretty remarkable, the upturn in fortune for French football we've seen since we have been here. Four teams in the knockout round from France. Um, Spain very well represented as well. Four teams for them, four teams for England as well, and uh, two Italian teams and two German teams. So it's the top five leagues of Europe completely and utterly dominating the knockout round, as you'd probably expect. And our side is fully rested. We played one game since last time. It was a 2-0 win in the league against Montpellier to keep up our impressive league form. So everybody's fully rested for this one then. Lafont, Mendy, Martez, Delic, Sidibe. Balde, Kessi, Tielemann, Skov, Golovin and Schick are all raring to go. Well, it's safe to say that our Champions League exploits in the save so far have been dramatic. Um, obviously, first season, we got knocked out in the group stage. We finished bottom of the group. Second season, we got all the way to the final and we lost on a penalty shootout. At one point, if we had scored a penalty, we would have won. Last season, we got through to the knockout round. We won in the first knockout round against Atletico Madrid in what was an incredibly dramatic match before our pretty limp and lacklustre quarterfinal exit to Valencia. So what does the knockout round hold in store for us this year? Well, a pretty strong Roma lineup, it's fair to say. Obviously, we pinched Patrick Schick from them a couple of years ago. They got Karen Benzema leading the line, but otherwise some excellent players. Undea, Pellegrini, uh, Nicolo Zaniolo, of course, uh, the player that I desperately tried to sign last summer. So it's going to be a very, very, very difficult prospect for us to beat them. They're going to be a very strong side. Hopefully, though, we will have the quality to see them off. We've been very, very solid defensively in the league this year and in the Champions League as well, including some excellent performances against Juventus. Um, hopefully, we can continue that here and not let some of our, well, previously, I guess, cavalier defensive ways come to the fore in the Champions League. We did uh, last year and, and the year before. Well, early highlight for us, Sadibi's on the ball, he's found Mendy flicking the ball across, it's bounced back to Sadibi, here's Skov looking for an opening, lots and lots of opportunities, sort of half chances, Kessie puts the ball across, and well, it's got, well, complete madness, complete madness, we've hit the post, I think, twice, at least once, somehow we don't score, and uh, well, Roma survived for the time being, an away goal would be very nice, hopefully we can, as I was saying, maintain our defensive discipline and not... Well, we normally end up scoring loads in one leg and then shipping loads in the other. I'd settle for a narrow 2-0 win. That would be nice. Well, half-time, it's 0-0. Nothing has really happened except for that baffling failure to score from us. And uh, the Roman did have a free kick, which I didn't even show you because it was just, well, it, was, it just went wide. A completely pointless free kick in many ways. But uh, not awful. I mean, this is the away leg, so a draw would be all right. Um, would be all right. But we're coming forward with purpose. Early in the second half, Schick doesn't quite get the ball. It's cleared by the Roma defence. Well, this is reaching Juventus level in terms of absolutely nothing happening. That brief highlight at the start of the second half, nothing else, nothing else has happened. Ten minutes left. This wouldn't be a bad result for us at all. Um, I think we can make a few changes. Schick's not really scored many recently. We'll put Pellegrini on. And um, we'll take the elements off for Sandro Tonali. He can use some of his... Italian influence on the pitch maybe I don't know um, yeah I'd be happy with this this is a pretty good result would be nice to get an away goal but keeping them from scoring can't really complain about that well a late free kick from Skov looking for Pellegri and I don't think he's going to waste found him but Pellegri's just passed it straight to Robin Olsen without a shadow of a doubt the most dull and uninteresting Champions League knockout round I have ever seen in my life but a good result for us Nil-nil, away from home, sets us up nicely for the second leg. Obviously, any away goals that Roma do get in the next leg will be pretty advantageous for them, but uh, well, you'd back us to win in the Principality. Well, that was pretty uninspiring, wasn't it? But uh, hopefully a more interesting match today against Marseille. They're also having a pretty strong league season, although they are a distant third to PSG and us exactly the same team they're not they're not particularly tired because they didn't really do anything against Roma so should be absolutely fit and raring to go for this one 
well, Marseille are quietly building a pretty dangerous team. They've got Vinicius Jr. on loan from Real Madrid on the left-hand side. Definitely going to be one to watch out for. Well, we've scored from kickoff. I never talk over the opening highlights because I'm always just like, oh, well, nothing's going to actually happen. Um, and that, that was getting slightly, slightly more ominous. Ball went out to Skov from Golovin running forwards and so many players in the middle waiting for the pass. Frank Kessie gets it and he absolutely rockets it into the net. Mandanda can't even do anything. It's like you're playing dodgeball and he's just, just trying to get it away from his face. Can't block it. We have the lead literally from kickoff and this is looking pretty good so far a well, ball over the top from Vinicius though and Benedetti's on it and the chance for Marseille to equalize Vinicius Jr slams it against the crossbar it's not over yet Dalbert with it robbed by Skov and well talk about being complacent Skov with a free kick Lissandro Martinez is able to put it away on the rebound and uh, we have ourselves a 2-0 lead Mandanda with the save and Martinez puts it away. Well, we're coming forwards at speed again. Balde on it, stopped well by Dumfries in the Marseille defence, but we've got it straight back again. Scover the ball across, find Schick. Balde saved this time by Mandanda. Sadibi with the throw straight to the Marseille players, though, and Badu's running forwards. Here's Dumfries. Kessie trying to tackle Badu, doesn't quite do it. A crucial interception from Matthias Elict, but all he can do, though, is just shove the ball across the top of the defence, and uh, well, we get, it, we get it back. Kessie's lost out, but then got it, and uh, Skov has it now, puts the ball across, cleared before Balde can get there, and it's, this is a very, very all-over-the-place highlight. Benedetti has it for Marseille. They're working it nicely. Tovan with a brilliant shot in, which Lafont just about stops going over the line. Skov with a corner in this time, looking for Kessie just wide. Well, are you not entertained? Already more action than the entirety of the match against Roma. Well, I'm very happy with how things are going. Keep it up. Golovin coming forwards, finds Berardi, and Berardi with a shot. It's fair to say they've not kept up that level of performance, but they have kept up that level of defensive performance, so that's all that really matters. We're looking good for another three points here, as I say that, though. Highlight in favour of Marseille. Tovan on the ball, and... Uh, a little bit penned back. Look at the pressing straight away from the free kick. Not giving them any space, or at least I hope we're not. And if we can get this, then there's a potential break here. Mendy wins it back, and uh, we can uh, look for a third. Barardi cutting inside. It's come to Kessie. Pressing forwards, and Balde indeed does get that third goal. Cracking strike. I mean, you could, you could, see, you could sense that coming. Marseille looking for an opening, but the press from us, penning them back, and as soon as we win the ball back, we can strike. Cracking hit from Balde. He really can put it into the top corner. Not his most prolific season, but nevertheless, seven goals so far. Very, very good. And there we are, another hugely impressive win against a league rival. Um, we Well... We're doing very, very well this year. It's pretty safe to say it is February the 13th and we are still unbeaten in the league. Just that one defeat in all competitions coming in the Coupe de la Ligue. So there we are then. Our gap at the top of the league ahead of PSG is still seven points. We do have a game in hand though, so it could potentially become 10 if we win that. And we're looking pretty good to retain our title far more so than last year next time then i can't think of anything i'd rather do than play psg i mean we need to we need to put them in their place really don't we put them in their place and extend our lead even further we will of course also play the second leg of our champions league knockout round match against roma finally poised from the first leg no advantage really for either side going into that one so that is going to be the end of the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and share this as widely as possible because it really will help the channel out. And I'll see you next time.